I recall hearing an interview one day on NPR radio of a man who served as a judge in the International Criminal Court. That is a court in The Hague, Netherlands, that prosecutes crimes of genocide, war crimes, and crimes against humanity. He spoke of the trial of some men who had committed terrible atrocities during the conflict in Serbia and Kosovo. The testimony he heard every day from the victims contained unimaginable horrors. He said he felt himself being weighed down by what he heard and his spiritual and emotional life was being strangled. He discovered something that helped him to cope with the awful weight of the daily testimony. During lunch, he would walk to a nearby museum where they had some paintings by Rembrandt and several by Vermeer. He would sit and stare at those paintings. Their beauty and calmness lifted his spirits, filled his soul, and enabled him to continue his work. Art and beauty have always served that uplifting purpose for humans. The Christian church has used the beauty of art, in particular stained glass windows like those in our sanctuary, to lift the human spirit toward God. In addition to missing seeing other people, some of you might be missing the experience of sitting in this place. One definition of sanctuary is a place of refuge or safety. Since 1918, that's what this place has been for thousands of people. When the sanctuary was built, it only had three small stained glass windows over the doors. The rest of the windows were plain glass. In 1922, the Psalm 23 window was installed near the rear of the church. That's how things stayed until the 70s, when a church member walked into another church in Southern California and was blown away by some of the amazingly beautiful stained glass windows. She tracked down the creator of the windows and commissioned him to make windows for us. The trustees happily accepted her offer to donate the windows. They were the creation of internationally known artist James Hubble, who has created some beautiful buildings, including the chapel at Sea Ranch in Sonoma County, a park in Japan, and his amazing home in Southern California. In 2006, the church held a capital campaign to raise money to renovate the church. Part of the renovation was the expansion of the choir loft. This wall with three windows was pushed back to allow for more seats. I remembered that James Hubble had signed one of the windows under the date of 1975. And I wondered if he was still alive and still working. It'd been over 30 years, but we found him. He was in his late 70s, living near San Diego, and still working. We invited him to take a look at the sanctuary and to get an inspiration for the new windows. When he entered the sanctuary, he sat down and silently looked at the windows for a long time. Then he quietly said, this is some of my finest work. He agreed to create the new windows for the choir loft to accompany his previous work. They were installed in 2008. The windows are not just full of artistic beauty. Each one contains a message from scripture to encourage and illuminate us. I'll close by sharing a few of those with you in the hope that these sacred words supported by the beauty of art may lift your spirit until that wonderful day when we'll be able to gather in this place again. Proclaim the good news to all creation. Why seek ye the living among the dead? All men will be brought to life in Christ, and I'm sure they mean women too. And my favorite, Jesus said, know that I will be with you always, yes, to the end of time. Now that's a promise to remember.